All right, we're going from grams to moles again. So let's write down what are we given, identifying. We've got, this is what they're giving us. And we want to end up with moles. So we know what we want. We know what we're given. Let's set it up. 352.98 grams. Let me put that there. And we want moles. And we want moles of uh, magnesium hydroxide. I'm off the page here. That's what we want, moles of magnesium hydroxide. So if I want to cancel grams out, I need grams on the bottom. And I know that I'm going to have, if I want moles of Mg OH2, that'll have to go on the top. Well, one mole of MgOH2, I need to calculate the grams to find that GFM. And this is your GFM again. Um, and I've actually already done that. And it's 58.32. The reason is I've got two oxygens and two hydrogens plus this one Mg out here. So that'll give me that value. Let's cross some stuff out. We can see the grams go away. That leaves moles of MgOH2. And we can do the math now. Let's take 352.98. And we can multiply it by 1. And then let's divide it by 58.32. 58.32 is which how much one mole of MgOH2 weighs. We end up with 6.05 6 moles of MgOH2. And let's check and see if that makes sense. Well, if one is about, one mole is about 50, 50 goes in here six or seven times. So pretty close to six. So I think that's a reasonable answer. We've gone from grams to moles using the GFM as a conversion factor, canceling out and then checking to see if our answer is reasonable.